The following video topic I've never been social about since the event it said since said event has started has has a, has happened. The video's title is a message about love, family, opportunity, and death. All of those are topics that will be covered in the following video. Excuse me. March 2011. I was a lot younger back then. Um, I was less political. I never really thought about politics. And all around, I was just not not the scenable you know today. Um, my great-grandfather, uh, Gigi Pop, as many of my family members and myself like to call him, um, had his 100th birthday. Um, he was born in 1912, um, I think like a month before the Titanic disaster, and he was celebrating his 100th birthday. I never really cared about it, but, um, most of my family cared about it. Um, now, this video will get very emotional. I might even cry, but I want to explain a story, my reaction, and how it affects me. Um, and my advice to everyone going through something like this. And if this video can help one person by just an atom, that would be big bang crazy. Uh, just amazing. Um, but anyway, so in March 2011, like I said, my great-grandfather celebrated his 100th birthday. Now for four more years, he kept celebrating his birthday. Now in March 2015, he celebrated his 104th birthday. Um, and later on that year, in November 2015, um, he's, I think this was October 2015 or September 2015, but around that time period, Gigi Pop, um, started going through a lot of issues, and he was struggling in that time period. In this time period, his life was being threatened, and there was nothing me or my family could really do about it. Um, we just really kind of just had to enjoy our last time with him. Um, because it was really just old age. He was 104, and he died the exact same month the Paris bombings happened. Not, not the same day. I don't even remember what day he died. Um, but he died in November of 2015. He died. This is normal. Everyone dies. But I really want to explain one thing of why I'm making this video. I never told Gigi Pop that he was a great, great grandfather. Uh, you, you know what I mean. Like, he was a good, great grandfather. Um, and that I loved him as a family member. Um, and he, and he never really, um, uh, brought attention to me. And I can see why. Um, I was probably just a normal kid in his eyes. Um, and I actually remember one moment in like June 2015 when I went over to his house and talked to him and other stuff. Uh, my grandparents. Um, and it's just sad because even in opportunities like that, I never told him that he was a great family member and that I loved him. <sighs> Already getting emotional. Um, and I would still cry at his funeral except for the fact that um, I never got to tell him that I love him as a family member, and that just made me really sad. Um, it just made me cry my eyes out. Um, like, you're lucky that, like, people are lucky they didn't drown at the funeral because I was crying that much. And I hope you guys can understand, dying family members is always, is never a really happy-go-lucky moment. Um, unless they were like drug dealers or criminals or murderers or thieves, whatever. Unless they were bad people like that, it really affects you and it really makes you sad uh, to lose a family member. Old, young, middle-aged, whatever. 15, and 
please. And to all these people, don't make the same mistake I did. Um, this video isn't over, but first off, don't make the same mistake I did. Please, tell your family members that you love them as family members. And just try to treat them well, because they might be 108 years old, they might be 95 years old, they might be 81 years old, 70, 77 years old, 66 years old, 51 years old, 15 years old. They might die young, old, middle-aged, and you never know when someone's going to die. So you always should tell them that you love them as a family member, as a friend, as a whatever, to being by the role they play in your life. Um, and it just is sad when you spend a, thing, a family member who's so interesting like most people die at maybe 60 70 80 90 he died at 104 which is a really cool age like that's a really nice amount of time to live and he really enjoyed his life that that was obvious um in fact my dad once told me that Gigi pop was a an amazing person if there is a heaven um that he'll be in it and First off, he never said a single bad word, which I can't, which I can't say about myself. Um, he probably never had a single sip of alcohol, uh, beer, whiskey, wine, whatever. <clears throat> and he was just a good man overall. He was a Baptist. I know I'm a deist and he was a Baptist, but even then... Someone's religious belief shouldn't really affect if you care about their life or not. And that is coming from a former atheist and a present deist. Excuse me. Um, this person was maybe not a big effect in my life, but if but he was a family member, so his death affected me. And and to this day I still sometimes think about it. Sometimes um, just at random moments. I might be, um, doodling ideas for a quick films episode, and then I think, man, I should have told my grandfather, my great-grandfather I loved him, um, as a family member, and it just, it doesn't necessarily disgust me about myself that I never told him that, but it certainly makes me very sad. Um, and if... And if you still have the opportunity to tell a family member you love them, just next time you meet them, just tell them it. Because you never know when you're going to lose them. And if you just lose them automatically, so much is going to happen to you if you never said that you love them. Maybe you're not going to die in a fiery death and then just be brutally chopped into pieces, but a lot of emotional things are going to happen to you. you and... And again, I'm talking about my dead great-grandfather, so I'm someone to trust. You will be sad, you will be angry, you will be just not as happy. And then when you think it's no longer affecting you, boop, you might be doing something completely random, and then you remember it. It's really something that just affects you. And I understand, not all family members are going to be good people. That's completely true. In fact, um... I actually have a couple family members who um, sometimes can. You know what? I take that back. My family is a lot of good people. Um, but uh, my dead great-grandfather, um, he was someone who really meant a lot. He was quite a man. Um, he really uh, just was a great person. And, you know, uh, in fact, I'm camping right now. Uh, in fact, my dad's right there, and we brought some uh, root beer uh, to this um, whole fiasco of camping, and this reminds me of my grandfather who loved root beer floats. Um, he really liked them. In fact, at his funeral, uh, we actually had some root beer floats. Just thought you might as well guys know that. And my grandfather, excuse me, and there's a bit of a story to... Um, my great-grandfather. I know I've been telling a lot of stories about him in this video, but he's one of the centers of this video, so I feel like that's appropriate. Um, he, like I, what I said, um, 
where he never really uh, noticed me. That's not true. That's not true. He really treated me as a fellow family member. Um, like, for example, um, through September 2015 to January 2017, I had a series of comic books called Pumpkin Kid, which I actually ended up publishing. And the third issue, Emotion Promotion, um, yes, dumb title, but don't worry about that. I gave to my grandfather, um, as he, um, like, the last time before I met him, before he died. And on a table of important things that were valuable to him at his funeral, that comic book was literally on the table. So, and near the end of his life, he kind of did notice me. And, uh, sorry, I'm just, this is just a hard video for me to make. Um, and when I first, uh, what was I going to say? Um. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, I have more regrets about what I never did during my great-grandfather's life. You know how to make quick films, moving shorts? Um, please, 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 people, don't insult them. This is a very serious video for me to make. Um, I never really made um, any actually moving shorts. And he never knew that, and in fact, I even once went to his house um, with some other family members after his death, and I was animating an episode there, um, which um, kind of made me think of this. I really should have actually made real animated films while he was um, alive, because he would be very proud of me if I actually did that. Um, and this is so important to me to make, um, because, uh, I know I've said this a lot, but I cannot stress this enough. People who are helped by this, you, you probably won't care, but people who aren't, you'll probably care, but I don't care about this. I don't care about how this video is received. This could be the least popular video, and I don't care. This video gets so much off my chest. Um, if my dad, if my great-grandfather, um, saw these... Um, and I th and he was alive. He was actually alive and well when Walt Disney uh, first made his films. Um, he would probably be reminded of him by me. He probably will. He probably would have said that they weren't as good, which I can agree with, um, as Walt Disney's. But he would certainly um, be proud, honestly. Um, and I'm just sad that I never did all of these things during his life. And the one, and again, the one that really affected me is that I never told him that I loved him as a family member. And that can really tug at your heartstrings when it was someone so important. Yeah, it, it would really affect me um, if it was anyone else. But someone who had so much on my life, first off, giving, giving birth to my uh, grand. Uh, grandmother and also being one of the oldest people in my life really something to um remember um and again for everyone watching never forget to just tell your family members you love them <sighs> because you never know when they're gonna die they could die any moment. You don't know when they're going to be knocked into a lifelong coma. You don't know when anything will happen. Life is completely random. And if, and if you don't tell them that you love them, it could all turn bad suddenly. So that's just my advice with this video. Um, it might, I'm not done. Um, in fact, um, there's a bit more to this story. Remember when I mentioned uh, March 2015? Um, well, another person died in that month of mine named uh, Aunt, Aunt, I, f I forget what aunt she was, but she died. I, I don't really remember her, um, so I wasn't really sad, um, but she's not the focus of the video. It was um, my great-grandfather, and... I know I'm not necessarily a church-going person, and I'm also not a Christian, but um, the people at the church gave me some really good advice. When I was crying up a storm there, uh, they actually just said crying is good, and they didn't do anything to stop me. 
which I think is very rare for churches because churches can be full of some pretty evil people. Um, but that's not what this video is about. And please, there's one more thing to this that I probably won't add in the title, but it's something to say. Um, my great grandfather, um, uh, if there is an afterlife, I want to meet him so I can finally tell him that he, I love him as a family member, if there is an afterlife, which I'm pretty sure there is at this point, since I'm a deist now and not an atheist. <coughs> Excuse me. And just, if, if I could meet him in the afterlife, if there is one, I, I'd be so happy. And I'd just tell him that I loved him and... But he probably knows that if there is an afterlife and he's someone just in heaven or whatever you want to call the afterlife. <sighs> I'm really sad, but this is a, f a very good video to make as it gets a lot off my chest. Um, yeah, I might make a follow-up video, but this is a very important video for me to make. It wasn't nearly as long as I expected it to be, but still important for me to make. Bye.